For the second time in three days, the Milwaukee Bucks have defeated the Brooklyn Nets, and Tuesday's game took much the same path that Sunday's did. The two teams traded leads for the first three quarters before Milwaukee took over and finished Brooklyn off in the fourth quarter. Yet again, Giannis Antetokounmpo and Kevin Durant excelled with 36 and 32 points, respectively, but Kyrie Irving outpaced them both with 38 of his own. Yet Milwaukee managed to walk away with the victory thanks to a balanced offensive effort. Drew Holiday and Chris Middleton poured in 23 points apiece, and strong nights from Dante DiVincenzo and Bryn Forbes pushed the Bucks over the top. The two teams have now played all three of their scheduled regular season matchups, but are on a collision course for a second round rematch, and that is one of three takeaways from Tuesday's battle. A week ago, Milwaukee appeared to be Brooklyn's last obstacle to home court advantage. Now, the Nets are in danger of falling to no. Three in the Eastern Conference. Milwaukee's two wins earned it the tiebreaker over Brooklyn. Toss in a Friday loss to Portland and Brooklyn now has 23 on the season, only one more than the Bucks. While their four final games are a cakewalk, Bulls, Spurs, Bulls and Cavaliers, their next two will come against Denver and Dallas. Both are possible losses, and once the Nets lose a game, the Bucks control their own destiny for the no. Two seed. Both the Nets and Bucks have strong road records, but 80% of Game 7 matchups are won by the home team. Milwaukee has an easy schedule of its own to look forward to, and if it goes all out for the rest of the season, it has a genuine chance of supplanting Brooklyn as no. 2 in the East. The real winner of Milwaukee's sweep of Brooklyn, though, is no. 1 seeded Philadelphia. The 76ers have seven games to play, and they're easy ones. They play the Rockets, Pelicans, Pistons, Pacers, Heat, Magic and Magic again to close the season. With only 21 losses, they'd have to lose three of those seven to lose home court advantage. The odds of that happening are low, and if the 76ers take care of business quickly enough they could even sneak in some rest for Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons before the postseason. That's a luxury neither Brooklyn nor Milwaukee can afford if they care about seeding. Nobody is going to win a shootout with Brooklyn. Even without James Harden, they just have too much firepower to beat behind the arc. The Nets have beaten the Bucks once this season, and unsurprisingly, that victory came inside. In that January win, the Nets outscored the Bucks 52-50 in the paint and outrebounded them 55-49. Milwaukee corrected the paint disparity on Sunday, but still lost the rebounding battle, 53-45. If the Bucks expect to beat the Nets in a seven-game series, that can't happen. The Bucks have the NBA's fourth-best rebounding rate, 